for Salesforce. Standard of for Salesforce is an easy document generation and e-signature platform where we can send documents to the recipients or whom we are supposed to send. And when they are, once they sign the document, we will receive an email that the recipient has signed the document. And uh, it is a very good uh, tool because it because it does allow us to, to automation feature also. Like uh, we want to send the uh, document to the particular recipient only. So it has a feature to filter out the recipient from the Salesforce only. Uh, Pandadoc for Salesforce provide all-in-one document generation and e-signature solution that helps the fast scaling teams to manage their documents and scale their documents and also helps the sales teams to close their deals more faster and in an effective manner. And, and it also reduces the communication barrier between the recipient and the sender because, uh, because it has a feature of collaborating on the document also. Now, now come working with Pandadoc. There are certain steps that, need, that needs to be followed in order to work with Pandadoc. Uh, of course, there are more steps also to ma make more features available, but these are the basic ones that uh, that is mandatory for everybody to follow. First, we have to install the manage package from App Exchange uh, on the App Exchange website. We have to go to the there and search for Pandadoc and click on Get It Now there and then we have to connect our Salesforce org to the Pandadoc. Now how to connect the Salesforce org to Pandadoc? Firstly, we have to go to the Pandadoc website, create a account there, and then go to the NT settings tab and integration tab, and then click on Salesforce style. It will ask for two things, uh, either to connect the production org or sandbox org. Uh, it, it is upon us which org we want to connect. Now the set of, uh, second thing comes, how to set up templates in Pandadoc. Uh, of course, for every document we cannot, every record we cannot uh, create a document. So we'll basically set up a template and whenever we want to send document to the uh, recipient, we'll use that template and that template will create automatically document from that uh, record by replacing its information there. Uh, the third steps come is to add the Pandadoc component to the desired object record page. Uh, suppose I have to uh, place the send the information of the opportunity to the recipient. So I will place the Pandadoc component that is part of a custom managed package. We'll place it in the opportunity record page. Now the fourth step comes is the configure Pandadoc flows in tokens in Salesforce. Uh, it is basically what I'm talking about. Uh, Suppose we want to configure information, different information we want to send to the recipient, what has Pandadoc has already provided. So we will use configure tokens. Suppose we want to send, uh, suppose we want to filter the users. So we will use configure recipients. Suppose we want to send some pricing information also. And along with that, some other details about the company, like what operations this company deals with. So we'll configure this, uh, configure this uh, issue, uh, configure this permissions from configure pricing of items. Now demo. Uh, for the demo part, I have uh, created a scenario. Uh, the scen because with this scenario, the uh, will be able to will be covering covering all the steps that that are required for Pandadoc flow. Uh, suppose I have a case scenario where after where I have to send a document for signature to the primary contact associated with the opportunity. And uh, that should be some nicely formatted and it should contain some pricing information. Now let's go to Salesforce or suppose this is the opportunity record. Once I click on it, I have configured all the basic steps. Uh, so it is showing me the opportunity component record page, in, uh, component in the record page only. It is loading its template from Pandadoc. There are a few buttons there. Uh, these buttons I'll cover later on. First, I'll show you how to uh, send a document for signature. So when I click on new document, it is asking for the template. Suppose I have created a test template. I will click on this. Uh, this is the primary contact of uh, this opportunity, so it has identified. So we'll click on this and this and remove it from CC. 
have started it. This is the document uh, which it has created from template. Uh, this is a table. For, this is a pricing table. It has included all the products from the opportunity there. And it has placed a signature also there. And it is about, this is basically the content library here. And there are certain things also, um, new things also there, like for the variables, to use merge fields like for the opportunity i want to use some fields uh, for the account i want to place account number there so i'll copy it and place it here there comes account number and once this field is used it will go to the integration tab there so we'll be able to know that which fields are used here this is the content library like it it helps us to uh, beautify our documents, like different, different content libraries we can place here. And there are also some pricing table options, like it has pulled the uh, data from uh, opportunity products um, by placing this pricing table. I have also, uh, I have already placed it here. And we can also configure some payment gateways from here. Like I want to uh, send a link to the recipient by clicking on the link, he'll be able to make a payment for the this. Uh, so we will, we are also able to configure it from here. Once I click on send, send by email. We can also uh, get a final view of the document like here. What document will look like. Once I click on send, send. has identified the primary contact we can also set reminders like every three days want to we want to send every five days we want to send so we can configure it from here only document has sent Yeah, I've got the email for it. Zero minutes ago. Once I open the document, we will click on start. Uh, it will automatically redirect us to the merge fields. We will put some signing information here, like we want to draw our custom sign, already signed, or upload some signature. Right now, I am doing this. Now, this will again send the email to the uh, sender uh, that the recipient has signed the document. Like here. Right now it is sending here because the recipient and the sender of the mail ID is same. The thing that needs to be con configured for Panda Docs. These are some advanced settings that we can configure. This is the tutorial part. Uh, like uh, it is showing the setup guide, like how to set a uh, place the um, place the panel of component on the lightning or classic. You know, conf configuring flows, like what information we want to send. Once I click on configure tokens, it has provided the um, more uh, standard Salesforce object here, and we can also add some custom objects from here. And for the suppose for the opportunity, this information it is sending, and we want to send some other information. So we will click on it and save. 
This was about the configuring tokens. Now configure recipients like what? Uh, what how to select the recipient? Like whom to send the document? Right now it is for the opportunity. It is it is showing the three objects like we can send to contact lead or opportunity contact tool, and we can also filter it out by clicking on this checkbox enable filter and filtering opportunity contact role on the basis of primary contact and setting it to true and save you can also configure it for other objects like for the for the some some another object like suppose for case i'll add case here and what casing information we want to send we can place here now comes configuring price items like what kind of pricing information we want to send with the document right now it is taking pricing information from opportunity product and we can also add some name field and other fields like what uh, other fields we want to send and also some new objects along with opportunity product uh, what kind of information we want to send we can select it from here and we want to if and if you want to share sort the pricing items we can sort it from here also for it now comes document trigger settings uh, like suppose the document has been sent but it is not reviewed by the recipient so we can configure from the, uh, the opportunity status trigger like on the document being sent we want to set the status to negotiation review and once the document is signed we want to we want the document uh, opportunity status to closed one so we can set up it from here like change opportunity status trigger when the document is sent it is sent to negotiation review and once the document is completed it is setting the stage to close one and we can also add a template id here like for specific templates we want to do not for every template we can add a template id also here and suppose we want to trigger some changes on other records other than opportunity we can also do some here and we can also create our custom new triggers and after creating it we have to enable it and set up it according to our own needs now comes object customization settings uh, right now it is showing only some standard custom standard objects and we want to add some custom objects also so we can do standard of quick setup and add our add our objects like what object we want to set, uh, configure but uh, certain but sometimes it is but it uses standard json builder for the standard or custom objects but we want some own, my own json builder like uh, for the standard one it will provide only the certain fields that are built onto the that comes with the manage package like uh, what are the standard fields we want to send but we want to send some other fields also so we can also create our custom json builder and we can create a apex class and place the name of class here and these are some advanced settings like what document we have sent we can also uh, see from here like document like panda doc documents these are some documents i have sent so it is showing a list here that was the demo part on the pandadoc website we can we can create templates from here and we can also import some google contacts also like we want to send information to our google contacts so we will import from here import contacts what are the benefits of it firstly it helps sales teams to close deal more faster and effective way because it reduces the communication barrier as, a, as i said it helps to collaborate on the document it is an automated digital signature platform means we don't with a few clicks we can we can send the document to the uh, recipient and once it's signed back we'll receive in information like he, he has signed the document it has also some in benefit of merging the opportunity and some standard object data into the do, into our document seamlessly uh, it is not available with certain other tools and for the pricing its pricing is very reasonable and low as compared to other document tools available for salesforce 